The reason for this video is to give you a simple introduction to the matrix cycles uh, add-on for ShareScope. The reason we created this add-on is because uh, ShareScope is actually a fantastic package. Um, but what's more important with ShareScope is it's not only a professional charting package, but it's also a data package as well. So basically if you buy ShareScope, you get the, the charting package and you get the data for all the markets that it has as well. And that is actually stored on your hard drive of your computer, which means, and quite simply, if you're not online at the time, so for example, you're in a, a train you know, traveling somewhere and you've got a laptop, then it doesn't matter if you haven't got connection to the internet, you can still actually look at the charts. Uh, a lot of these packages nowadays, you have to buy data separately and it comes down through the internet. Now, ShareScope will uh, update its database uh, on the internet anyway, but at least the data is stored on your hard drive. So if you're away for a week or so, uh, it doesn't matter because uh, when you fire the package up again, it will go online and just download the data to your hard drive and there it is for you to use uh, whenever you like. Now, it's beyond the scope of this video to go through all the features of ShareScope, um, but uh, the whole, whole principle of this is show you the matrix cycles on it. But if we start off by, this is a typical screen you'll get uh, when you first fire it up. Um, as you can see here, I'm just looking at a list of shares from the FTSE 100 index. Um, if you go across here to the All button and uh, select that, you'll find by scrolling right down, as you can see, there's uh, 85,237 items. Um, this is the other thing with uh, ShareScope is all these items from all different exchanges around the world, you do not have to be paying uh, for different exchanges. Uh, the price you pay for the uh, ShareScope software is uh, the one-off price, and basically that includes all those exchanges. Right, the first thing we need to do is uh, create ourselves a little portfolio because there's no point in zipping through thousands and thousands of items here. So we go to a portfolio button and we'll create a portfolio, uh, say new portfolio, and we'll call it uh, test. Nice and simple. So okay. And then uh, let's put some item in, into it. So let's go to the uh, indices, uh, select something like um, there's a German DAX. We'll right click on it and say add to test. Um, there's a French CAC. Right click again, add a test, just zip through a couple of items. Um, right, there's a Dow Jones for example, add that. And if you go up here and click on it you'll see there's test and say OK and there's the three items we've got. And I've already created a portfolio so if I click here, um, click matrix, there's a, a whole set I created a little while ago from the S&P, let's see, um, right through to a, a Nikkei, gold and silver and a couple of currencies as well. Now one of the beauties of this particular uh, package is everything is customizable. So other than creative portfolios, you can change colors, fonts, you can organize these different columns and there are hundreds of different columns you can choose from. Even these buttons here, if I right click uh, and customize toolbar, I can create buttons which for other things like gilts and unit trusts and ETFs or exchange traded funds. Again, as I say, it's totally customizable, so that's entirely up to you. It's beyond the scope of this video. Right, if I wanted to have a look at one of these items, for example, so a chart it, say uh, the S&P 500, I either select it and press enter or I click this button here that charts it, and you get a, a graph. Now, you might immediately go, oh, I don't like the look of that graph. It doesn't matter. You know, everything here is customizable. Now, if you purchase the uh, Matrix Cycles add-on for ShareScope, you'll find if you right-click on this chart, you can go down to Graph Design, which is where you change everything. But uh, on the Library button, if you click that, you'll find there's a uh, oops, I'll move it up a bit. There you go. There's uh, one that says Matrix Cycles. If I select that, say yes to it, it will set it up to the way I have it. So there you go. There's your chart. It's nice and clear. Um, there's no junk around the screen. Now again, you know, <laughs> you may not like this. It doesn't matter. You can change it all. It's all customizable, as I said. Now if I right-click now, I then go on to other main graph features, down to uh, Share Script Studies click the add button and again select the matrix cycles and OK and it will put matrix cycles directly onto the chart. Now there's uh, these cycles there's quite a number of solutions uh, built into this and in fact uh, ShareScope holds the uh, the biggest amount of uh, matrix cycles of any of the add-ins uh, for other things as well. Now if we go along here we can have a look at uh, buttons here I've set up so we can switch it into weeklies, monthlies instantaneously, back dailies I can zoom out, I can zoom in, obviously I can scroll along the chart here, backwards and forwards. Up the top here you now have a button, um, click on this, settings. This allows you to change the colours for all the items within the matrix. 
obviously if you decide you want a white background um, then these MC3 white points will obviously become invisible uh, so you'd go to settings here click on it and change it to whatever color you like once you've changed this uh, these settings are saved onto the system um, and also once you've put all this together now anyway it will also be saved so next time you start to share scope up it will come straight back to here you don't have to go through the same procedure we've just already done um, click on here you can uh, put pivots on so the matrix pivots are there you can also hit the templates and select uh, as the MC1 template you can also uh, switch it off put cycles you can change those so if you want to take the MC1 and MC2 on and off um, Basically, again, customizable as you'd expect. Everything switch on, switch off. Uh, inverting cycles is simple. You just move your mouse on top of a number, click on it, it will invert it. And again, this is also all saved to your to hard drive. If for some reason you're looking at a market we don't have a, a solution for, so for example, if I go up here and selected the uh, FTSE 100 share list, um, took the first item, uh, went on to that. Obviously we haven't got a, a solution for that, but you can still select and put the pivots on. Um, if you want to scroll through the listing, if you use your uh, the ball on the mouse and scroll downwards or press the space bar if you haven't got the uh, roller ball on your mouse, uh, hold the shift key down and press the space bar and it will go backwards through your list as well. And I'll take those pivots off. Again, you can put the templates on there if you want to, and again, you can change colors on this as well. If we go back to our uh, selected portfolio. Now one thing I need to mention is uh, ShareScope has um, three main items. Um, it has the ShareScope Gold, the ShareScope Plus and the ShareScope Pro. Now the Gold version um, is just basically um, is a baseline package, it's an end of day package. Uh, this will not work on the end of day. The Matrix Cycles add-on will only work on the Plus and the Pro. Um, the Plus and the Pro also allow you to use multiple windows so you can have multiple charts and stretch them across multiple monitors. Um, and you'll also find on the plus you can actually even use uh, intraday charts on this as well with uh, 15 minute delay data uh, while the professional's got real time data. The one thing obviously also to mention is the, the add on is for daily and above. So even if you uh, view an intraday chart, you cannot put matrix cycles onto an intraday chart. So it's daily, weekly, and monthly only. As you can see from here, as I say, this is like there's the Dow Jones. Um, FTSE, there's DAX, there's a whole host uh, of solutions already built into this and as I said there's more in this ShareScope version than uh, there is on any of the other matrix add-ons. Okay so that gives you a, a quick introduction of the uh, matrix add-on for uh, ShareScope. If you want to find any more information you can go to our website at www.themarketmatrix.co.uk uh, where you'll find under the software tab um, the rest of the information on it and uh, if you want to find any more information on uh, ShareScope you can go to their website at uh, again www.sharescope.co.uk but you'll also find there's a whole host of videos on uh, places like YouTube um, showing you how to uh, use various functions within this software um, from various customers around the world. Okay well thank you for listening. Goodbye.